caught an L.A. Mm. County Sheriff's deputy at a station packed with his armed colleagues. Well, that deputy said he came under fire about 24 hours ago. Sheriffs say the uh, shot came from an apartment complex next to the station in Lancaster. KCAL 9's Randy Page is there live for us now. Randy. Hi, Juan. Yes, we are live in front of the apartment building that the officers were talking about. We can tell you that in a late news release just a short time ago, Sheriff's Department didn't add a whole lot of details, but did say that they believe that the injury here was a non-penetrating, their words, description, and minor injury to the deputy. And they also say a pellet rifle has been recovered and is being sent in for testing. As we take a look down this driveway, this is the apartment we're talking about. Just on the other side is a sheriff's station. We wanted to get an idea what it might have looked like for the person who was actually doing the shooting. Take a look. Uh, take a shot from the north of the Lancaster helipad. The chilling radio transmission from a deputy under fire. I think it's from the apartment window. There's multiple windows open. I didn't know where the shot came from. This is my room. I'm the last room upstairs. Jaime Flores lives in one of the apartments Deputy Angel Reynosa identified. We wanted to investigate the potential line of fire from yesterday's attack. I can see the sheriff's department here and everything. Jaime Flores says his window was open yesterday. Here on the fourth floor, likely one of only a handful of apartments that the shots could have been coming from. And to be clear, were you in this bed at the time? Yes, I was. And you're that close to the sheriff's? Yes, I was. I am that close. And I mean, no gunshots, nothing. Elaine Davis was in an apartment right across the hall from Jaime Flores. Anything? I heard nothing. No gunshots? Nothing. Kent McGuire lives next door to Jaime Flores. His apartment has a vantage point just like Jaime's. Do you think if shots had been fired from your side of the apartment building? We would have heard it. I think. And did you hear anything? Didn't hear anything. The sheriff's department hasn't released any details about where the shots may have come from. Kent McGuire says he knows what gunshots sound like and that he knows what it's like to be a police officer. We did a film about it, and I was the one being sniped. That's him in a fake uniform shooting a fake gun. McGuire says the guns he uses on film belong to him. They're BB guns. Yesterday, he told deputies the fake guns were inside his apartment, and McGuire says deputies took his BB guns and they haven't given them back. I need my guns because that's we get hired out. I got the uniform and the badges and the gun. And we get hired out as a cop. I got my cop car, you know, and I, I need my guns. Sheriff's Department is not saying who the owner is of the pellet rifle, which was sent in for testing, but we can tell you that the uh, BB guns or pellet guns that were taken from Kent McGuire have not yet been returned. Live in Lancaster, Randy Page, KKL 9 News.